Hello everyone. Welcome to Sudocoda. This is Ravina. Today we are going to solve problem number 238, which is product of array except self. Okay, so let's start by reading the question. It says that given an integer array nums, return any array, <coughs> return an array answer such that answer of i is equal to the product of all the elements of nums except nums of i. The product of any prefix or suffix of nums is guaranteed to fit in a 32-bit integer. You must write an algorithm that runs in O of n time and without using the division operation. And here you'll see that there's a follow up question. They're saying that can you solve this problem in O of one extra space complexity? The output array does not count as extra space for space complexity analysis. So let's start by understanding what is the question asking us to do. Let me open my notepad. Yep. Okay. So, um, here you'll see that they uh, we want to calc we want to construct an array such that the element at a particular index is sum of all the elements in the array except that element so let's see uh, so exa for example i have to construct an answer array uh, and that will be so if you want to compute that the self is here this is the element the product the answer would be product of all these three so 2 into 3 into 4 which is really 24 so 24 the second element here would really be all product of all the elements except this two so 1 into 3 into 4 which is 12 if i come here it's 1 into 2 into 4 which is 8 and lastly if we are at 4 it's 3 into 2 into 1 which is 6 so this is going to be our answer array. Now we have to find a way to construct this array. Okay. So let me get rid of all this. So to do that, we are going to need a uh, answer array for us. So let me get that answer array. I'm going to initialize it with one. So I'm going to initialize the answer array with one. Uh, now I'm going to go through my nums array from left to right and I'm going to calculate uh, the product moving from left to right. So I'm going to start with index 1, not 0. Keep that in mind. I'm going to start with index 1 because I want to exclude elements, uh, self elements from it. So when I'm here, I'm going to start with 1. So that's here. I'm going to multiply previous element at that particular index from nums and from my answer array. So it's going to be 1 into 1 which is one, so it stays one. Cool. Move on to the next. I multiply previous element of my answer and my nums array. So two into one, two. So this becomes two. Moving on, I'm here. Multiplication of previous elements. So three into two, six. This becomes six. Once I do that, now you might be thinking, okay, we did go from left to right. What about the right elements? Yeah, for that, we have to go from right to left. But there's a small change here. The small change is that we want to have a variable of right product with us so that we can, you know, keep that right product, which will contain product of all the elements from right to left. And we are just going to multiply it with our answer. So here, let me see. Uh, we have a right product variable. I'm going to initialize it with one. Now I'm going to traverse from right to left. Going from right to left, I'm here. What I'm going to do, multiply my answer with the right product. 6 into 1 is 6. It remains 6. Now I have to update my right product. My right product will really be right product into the element at that index in my nums array. So this is really going to be, sorry. This is going to be 1 into 4. 1 into 4, which is 4. Okay. Moving on, I come here. My answer would be answer into right product. So 4 into 2, which is 8. So this is going to be 8. And then I'm going to update my right product. My right product will be my right product into the current uh, the, uh, the element at index, whatever the current index is. So here, 3. So 4 into 3 is 12. So this is going to become 12. Let me get rid of this yeah okay so now i come here my answer uh, i'm i'm gonna update my answer answer is answer into right product so 1 into 12 is 12 
So this becomes 12. Now I have to update my right product. My right product will be my right product into the element at that index in nums. So 12 into 2 is 24. That becomes 24. I go one level down. Now my answer is answer into right product, which is 24. 1 into 24 is 24. And so I'm going to update this as 24. I'm going to update my right product. Right product is right product into the current element at nums. So 24 into 1 is again 24. So by the end, you reach the end of the array. This is your answer. So this is your answer and then you have to return it. Let's see how we can convert this into code. Okay, me, yeah, cool. So the first thing I needed was my answer array. So I have my answer array, uh, something initialized to one. And then, okay, first let me first write, give a variable for my length of num since I'm gonna use it again and again. So it's gonna be, my answer array is gonna be initialized by one of length n. Now I have to write my for loop for going from left to right. So for i in range, starting from one, remember, going till n, it's actually n minus one. Uh, for loops in Python's uh, do not include the last element, so it's excluded, that's why it's n minus one. So if I write n, it's gonna go till n minus one. So I'm going to now update my answer of i. My answer of i is gonna be my previous element of answer of answer into my nums previous element that's what we did right so that's how i go from left to right now once i have done that i need my right product in place so my right product i'm going to initialize that to one and then i'm going to go from right to left so going from right to left so for i in range going from right most element which is n minus one going till zero that's why minus one because it's excluded and then uh, for every iteration it's going to be minus one uh, now i'm going to update my answer my answer of i is really my answer of i into my right product that's what we did right when we calculated that and then I'm going to compute my right product again. My right product is nothing is nothing but my right product into my nums of i at that index. And then in the end, I have to return my answer. Cool. Let me try and run it. Oops. Okay. Let's see. Submit. Yeah, so it's accepted. It beats 93.8% of the solutions there. Uh, so let's talk about the time and space complexity. As you would have already guessed, the time complexity of this is O of n because you are going through each and every element just exactly once. So once here in this for loop and this for loop. Remember, time complexity, if you have two for loops but they are not nested, that means it's n plus n, two n, and then we drop the constant when we calculate time complexity or space complexity. So is it, is, this is gonna be O of n. Uh, let's talk about the space complexity. For space complexity, if you look at it, my n and right product are really constants, but my answer here is of length n. So the space complexity here really should be O of n, but, if you look at the follow-up question right here, it says that the output array does not count as the extra space for space complexity analysis. So in this scenario, when the question explicitly tells us that do not include space complexity for the result, at that point, you will see that this is O of one, which is constant and this is constant. So the time complexity really becomes constant. If you are in an interview and you are asked this question, please, do say the time complexity as it is, uh, unless the interviewer gives you this special condition. So the space complexity of this problem really is O of n, but because this uh, question explic explicitly tells us that do not include it for the answer, that means that's why the space complexity here is O of one. I hope this explanation was helpful, and I have I'm gonna have this uh, in my GitHub uh, in my GitHub repo. So I'm going to uh, include the link in the description below please leave a 
comment and a thumbs up it really helps my channel and if you like my videos please subscribe to my channel uh, it will help me grow my channel and also uh, happy holidays and merry christmas thank you bye